Watching out for you tonight, fake concert and game tickets are popping up all over. And by the time the gate attendant scans your ticket, the person who sold it, well, they're probably long gone. Investigative reporter Patrick Nelson uncovered a rise in ticket fraud throughout our state. He's in studio. You found this is primarily linked to online sales. It is. We've come a long way in the way that we buy tickets. The technology has evolved so much when it comes to buying tickets. Two decades ago, you had to camp out if you wanted to buy tickets there at the ticket office. Then you could just uh, call in and make your request, get in that queue to be able to buy those tickets. Now we can do everything from your home right behind that computer screen. But the problem is it's allowed people to cut in line to get those tickets just to go out and price gouge you later or even rip you off. Both consumers and local arenas now must navigate this ticket turmoil. After the playoffs. A sellout crowd arrives at the Pepsi Center in Denver, ready to watch the Colorado Avalanche in their quest to win the Stanley Cup. It's an exciting time to be a Colorado hockey fan, and savvy fans know it's also a prime opportunity for scammers to cash in. Because nowadays, someone can hand you a ticket and say it's a real ticket, but it's not when you get to the stadium. With the seats completely filled for nearly every playoff game, Sean Ream, in charge of the team's ticket sales, says it's no surprise people are getting ripped off and price gouged for tickets. The bigger the event, the more, the more fraud you see. In some cases, fans are paying for tickets that don't exist. The scalpers go online and find two cheap tickets to buy from a third-party retailer. Then they print out several copies and sell the tickets on street corners. The first two in the doors make it into the game. The rest just paid for tickets that have already been used and can't get their money back. Oh, it's heartbreaking. Yeah, I mean, it's specifically like a, an event like Avs Playoffs, like, you know, that's a really big event and people will come out and for some people that's the opportunity of a lifetime. To combat ticket fraud, concert and sporting event venues like Pepsi Center are using new technology. Now fans present their tickets on their mobile device. It eliminates the issues with printout tickets and helps fans stay a step ahead of the fraudsters. You can go come right in on your mobile device. It offers a QR code and that QR code literally changes, I, I believe, every 30 seconds or something like that. So that's so that can't be faked. Also, online security filters like this are put in place to defeat illegal robot apps from buying large quantities of tickets just to resell them for more money. It's not illegal to resell a ticket, but when somebody comes in and buys out every seat, um, it really makes it inconvenient. Inconvenient enough that people like Kristen Garnhart will take a chance to acquire a seat to a sold out event. She lost $160 on Craigslist when she tried to buy tickets to the sold out Chris Stapleton concert at Pepsi Center last summer. Transferred him the 160 bucks. Never heard from him again, never saw the tickets. Guy wouldn't answer my calls, wouldn't answer my texts. Garnhart says after taking her money, a few days later, the seller offered to sell the same tickets to her aunt. Who knows how many times that he's bought concert tickets for different artists and done the same thing, or even sporting events and done the same thing. Ticket fraud does happen at a startling clip. According to AARP research, phony tickets are sold to sporting events, concerts, and even theme parks every year. Five million people buy bad tickets annually. Losses add up to more than $4 million a month. In Colorado Springs, leaders at the Broadmoor World Arena say they are amazed by people still trying to game the system. Some people even trying to get into events with tickets from previous years. We sometimes are astounded by their creativity. Dot Lishik is the general manager of the World Arena. She says a majority of the ticket fraud the World Arena sees is tied to people buying from questionable resellers. It's painful for the facility to try and make good on something that they may not be able to. Um, it's painful for the um, ticket buyer. Um, they may not be able to see the show. And to have a news station be like, hey, you know, we've heard about this happening a lot. Like, let's look into it further. It kind of, it gives some justification that this stuff does happen and that people just don't make this stuff up. 
Now for the best results, you should always start by trying to buy tickets directly from the venue, but we know that's not always easy for the big events that will sell out, but working with the venue, they can verify your ticket, which is huge as we saw in that story. If you do become a victim of ticket fraud, you should always file a police report. Always watching out for you. Patrick Nelson, News 5 Investigates. Great story, Patrick. Thank you.